Welcome. The sun has been very quiet for the last few months, but now we've just seen some more signs of Solar Cycle 25 appearing in a new region that's just come over the southeast limb. And also, a couple days ago, we had the transit of Mercury, and I'm going to show you a video of that. That's a very rare occurrence, and it'll be some time before we see another one. Well, let's take a look at the status of the solar cycle. We are in the quiet period between two solar cycles, solar cycle 24 and solar cycle 25. That is characterized by rare short-lived sunspot groups from both cycles, and even fewer flares and very few coronal mass ejections. This is typical of a solar minimum so far. Today we had the appearance of some sunspots on the southeast limb of the sun. You can see that they are at fairly high latitude from the curvature of the limb, and also from the magnetic picture on the right, you can see that the negative polarity, black, is leading. Now in the southern hemisphere, that means that this is a new cycle region, a solar cycle 25 region. And recently we've been seeing more and more solar cycle 25 regions uh, particularly in the southern hemisphere and fewer and fewer solar 24 regions in either hemisphere. So I think we're beginning to get to the transition between the two solar cycles. We also had the bonus of a very rare Mercury transit. The last one took place in 2016 and the next one will not happen until 2032 and that won't be visible from the US. The next one visible from the US will occur in 2049. Let's take a look at the video from the Solar Dynamics Observatory HMI instrument to watch the transit of Mercury. Now this took about five hours, so this is going to be very much speeded up. You can see Mercury coming in from the left-hand side of the image. That's the east limb of the Sun. And it travels just basically across the diameter of the Sun. This jerky motion is actually a matter of the frame rate of the SDO instrument. And then it exits off the west limb about five and a half hours later. I'll repeat this once more without my commentary. So what can we conclude from what we've seen about the sun? We are currently in solar minimum conditions, but they could end any day now or go on for another year or more. We're already seeing signs of solar cycle 25, but they're not very strong as yet. Take a look at the picture on our right. You see there are two models of likely solar uh, cycles. One is a very rapid rise into solar cycle 25 that should be apparent by the end of this year, or a much slower and longer rise uh, in uh, 2020 and that's the one I've been favoring all along. Even so the number, longevity and activity in the sunspot should increase through 2020. So until next time, goodbye.